Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and today we're doing this look. It's like, you know, 90s inspired. We have some like cool tone eye looks here. We've got a nice thick black liner so we, you know, modernize the 90s look. We did the whole skin routine on camera as well. So if you think that the eyes or the skin is pretty, then keep watching. But before we get started, please do subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, set the little notifications bell so you, so you know when I post stuff like this. And like this video. If you already like the look, come on girl. You know you're gonna keep liking it. Just like the video. I'll stop blabbing and asking you to do things. Let's get started. Or this way. Let's get started. 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 Okay, that's enough. I have to go. Oh god, you can see I've been on a massacre this morning. Oh no. You guys are all doing well. The eyes, I'm feeling cool tones, and I'm using the same palette that I used in my last video, so if you like that video, great, thanks. Get on in, we're going for a ride again. And if not, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll link it up here. Oh my god, I'm just going to cover this so we don't have to look at it together. This is also too dark for me, so I'm going to start with the eyes. Normally, I would do a lighter color on the eyes if I'm using this as like a base, but I'm using cool tones, so I don't want to like wash myself out you know it's a slippery slope so i'm just gonna blend this in around the eyes this is so dark it's not so dark but it most certainly is too dark for me i've been wanting to film like a tanning video slash like a glow up but i've been waiting for this package to come in Maybe they just chose not to send it to me anymore. So we're just gonna jump right into eyes. I'm gonna be using this Primark Exposed palette. I used in my last video, but it's just so pretty and I didn't use all the colors, so that's what I'm back to do. I wanna do like a really dark, smoky under eye, like a reverse cat eye. I'm gonna start with this color, I think. I, I need to know what I'm doing though. I don't know if I wanna do like a spotlight. <sighs> Let's just do something. Let's just get started and we'll see where things end up. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush to start. It is a blending brush, I guess. Zareya eyeshadow. Okay, it's an eyeshadow brush. That's a good start. All right, so I'm gonna take this fluffy brush here and go into this very sexy, mauve cool tone color. Make sure I don't have any creases on here. Doing the eye first because I might be using black eyeshadow underneath. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. Okay, I'm obsessed with this color already. I'm gonna just bring that like right up to the crease. I don't think I'm gonna blend much higher than the crease. Wait, do you wanna come closer? Come here, kiddo. Hi. I don't think I'm gonna blend in much further above the crease because I do, I wanna have like skinny eyes, small eyes today. So I'm just do applying like a diagonal upward just to the crease. I'm already going to switch to a blending brush so I can get this corner nice and right and tight. So I didn't add any product to this. I just actually wiped off whatever excess was on it because it's not clean. And then I'm super lightly just diagonally following that line to just buff it out. You see? I think I need to close this corner a little bright in here. Okay, I just changed the lighting a bit. I hope that's okay. All right, so just buffing that. I guess this is going to be quite an easy look because I'm like, okay done that's all i'm gonna use like actual eyeliner today which i don't normally like to do because it's so hard to get off but i got a new makeup remover and it's a bomb and bombs are the best bombs are the bomb so it just like melts your makeup off it's pretty cool i'll probably end up doing a little instagram video about how i remove my makeup at some point I don't know if that's like what people want to see though. I don't know. Like I want to keep my Instagram chill. You get me like some cool fun stuff and then a lot of like just day to day stuff. I don't know. Leave me a comment if you think that's something that's cool. You know, I, can, I don't know what to post. I don't know who to be. I just want to satisfy you. Gross. Kind of tidying this up. There's no product on this, but this is normally a little brush that has concealer on it. I'm just gonna tidy up that. Nice. I'm just gonna like kind of blend this into the crease a bit. There's no product on this brush, just whatever is already on my eye. 
cool. This eye is going to be easy and I like that. Because I'm actually supposed to be at school right now. But, but I feel like doing a video. So that's what I'm going to do instead. Okay, now for the shimmer and the shine. I think I'm going to go with this girl here. I flipped you off, sorry. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's kind of got like a gold undertone almost. It looks a lot lighter in the video. Oh, or wait, do I want this one? No, I want that one. So I'm just going to take this little brush here and pat that on. Apply that following the blank areas from the gray. So we're applying like in a diagonal again. It's not that serious if you don't, but I don't know. I always feel like a straight line is kind of harsh. Don't harsh my flow, bro. So the lid isn't meant to be like the shining star of this, but it might be. Cause this is like so simple, but so pretty. All right, I'm just grabbing that other brush that we were using earlier. I dabbed a little bit of that brown on it. I'm wiping it off periodically on my little lap towel, my little lap dog. Imagine if I was like, I'm wiping my brushes off on my dog and then adding product if I need it, just so that the brush isn't like too shimmery as I'm blending. I don't want it to go too far out onto the matte area. And then I'm blending towards the bridge of the nose so that I don't drag those sparkles out. And voila. I'm just gonna put a bit more here and I'm really just going like onto the lid and just up to the crease. Yeah, you know what? I'll blend that. All right, that's all we're gonna do there. And then I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil. And I'm gonna go right into the waterline. And perhaps regret this later when it's time to clean up. Look at that 90s girl. Mm -mm. And then I'm gonna like just follow out a little here. I think I'm gonna do a half lash, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a little bit on the top liner, but like, well, let's do this TikTok trick. See how that goes. Ooh, that worked. I didn't take it up very far because I was being a scaredy cat, but worked for the most part. All right, and I'm taking this all the way into my tear duct up goose here. Now I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow now that I've already caused this drama. But there's not a black in this palette. In this palette, there's like this charcoal color. It is close to black, but mm, not quite dark enough. You know what? I'm a giver. I'm gonna use that one just for the sake of using this same palette. So I'm gonna go in with that dark girl here on this Japanesque, Japanesque brush. I don't know how you say it and I'm sorry I'm saying it wrong. Also, I like, I don't remember where I got this. Maybe TJ Maxx or something, this one brush because it looked like exactly what I needed. And I had never really heard of the brand other than like, I guess like influencers talking about it or like makeup people talking about it online. And then I went into CVS yesterday and I saw they had a whole stand. The stand was completely empty. I don't know if it was because it was a new stand or because more people know about it than I think and everybody bought the products, but pretty good brush. I'm gonna take this black eye pencil again and I'm gonna fill in this little area here. And then I'm just gonna tight line a little here too. What do you think? It looks weird, but we'll get there. Tight lining really makes a huge difference. If you find that your eyelashes, your fake eyelashes don't, as I fuck it up, <laughs> your fake eyelashes don't like look like they line up with your natural lash well. Try and tight line. You can even try and do it with a liquid liner. I'm just gonna add a little bit here because you see the way my eye shape works. And I'll probably go over that with shadow because who the hell can do, who can do like top eyeliner with a pencil? That's so hard. If you can and if you can and it actually comes out good, good for you. So I'm just going to use that little Japonesque brush. Oh, I really wish I knew how to say that. Please try and tell me if you know how to say it. Please try and tell me in the comments. Just for the outer corner here, I'm going to take a little bit more of a little smaller brush just to have a little bit more control right here. 
Hey, sexy lady. I went a little lower than I wanted, so just with a little licked, a little licked cotton, like that. I think that's it, honestly. I think I'm actually just gonna leave it like this, so I'm gonna hop off camera and do the other eye. Actually, while we're here, let's just do some mascara real quick. I realized that in my last video, I tried out some Primark makeup and I was like, oh, I have to buy a Primark mascara, even though I didn't actually have any interest in buying a Primark mascara. There was something telling me I shouldn't. Not that I shouldn't, I just like didn't, I don't know, I didn't really care much for it, so now I'm like, oh. I realized that I had another one. I'm just taking some of that brown powder in here because that pencil didn't really work because I was scared. I didn't want to scratch my eye. Actually, I don't know if I should use this mascara because I think I'm going to do a half lash. So I do kind of need these inner lashes here to kind of pop off, but that's all right. Primark mascara I was using was just this one. I don't actually know what it's called. It's called mascara. I don't think they really have names, but the other one that I had tried, which is in the video that I was referring to earlier, was this one. I think I prefer this pink one, but I mean, they're not bad. I just feel like you can get better cheap mascaras, like cheap essence ones or something. But I do my whole eye and put the, the eyelash on. I don't usually do that because I don't like the lash to get powdery. But I'm feeling rebellious. Let's see what I have. Do you want to see my little... My little thing. This looks so gross. It looks like I'm a weirdo who's like collecting people's hair. But it's just my little... It's a little pot full of eyelashes. <gasps> when I'm too lazy to put away my lashes, I just put them in that little pot. It's very convenient. If you think that I'm about to tell you which lashes I'm using, you are mistaken because... You just saw my little pot, right? But all these lashes are already kind of like cut up. I'm gonna use these little ones. That's what they look like. I'm sorry, I don't have a name for you. Morning. Oh, spicy. I'm gonna go do the other eye and then we'll be back. I'm back. Okay, so gotta make sure we don't have any black chunks. Cause it's so hard to come back from that. I kind of like wiped off a little bit with my cellar water already. But that, again, is why we do our dark eyes first. And we're gonna like focus on skin now. I feel like I don't have a super consistent skin routine, but mostly for like Instagram and stuff lately for my videos, I've been doing the same thing. So I'm just gonna do it with you. So I'm gonna use this and I feel like this is actually the foundation that I'm usually using if I am using foundation. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade Chu Chuenche. I do need some coverage on my forehead because of these pimples. And obviously I was attacking my face this morning. Ugh, that did bring a bit of life back to my skin though already. To cover these blemishes, I'm going to use this color that's too dark this is the fenty concealer in 310 i got this in the summer i think so that's okay i'm just gonna put it on for now to cover up these scary areas i'm just gonna take my damp beauty sponge really cautiously go under the eye here i actually quite like using a concealer that's a little bit dark under my eye not dark but like not something that's super fair Cause I feel like when I use something that's really fair to actually cover up like blemishes or dark circles, it just kind of makes me look gray, especially dark circles. It makes me look super gray. So I use a medium color, like a color that's close to my skin tone. And then what I'll do is take my really white or really light color and then I can brighten up. So I'll just do this right by my nose and you see i'm not getting like right on the back so you get me there oh i'm gonna show you my nose contour that i've been loving and then we'll do a little here for a lifted mamont i'm gonna go back in with that same sponge i love doing the brightening right here because it's just such a great way to start the contour snatch and lift and lift lift what's that from it's actually bend and snap, but did you get it? All right, and I am wearing this all day, so I'm gonna spray real quick. This is the 
professional super setter. This setting spray is okay. I really like this. That it's a super fine mist. But it's super perfumey. Oh, nice hair. I'm just gonna take my sponge while it's still damp. I can't talk while I'm doing this, but I'm clearly still going to. I like setting spray. I'm gonna say it. it's one of those things that you really don't have to spend a ton of extra money on. Sorry. So I'm just gonna use this pencil side, fill in above my tail here, and then any like sparse areas. Makeup really is such a mood, isn't it? Like I feel like I have so many different personalities with my makeup. But my friend used to always say like depending on my makeup was like how my mood was. So if I had, if I had like a smoky eye on, I'd be like, mm, you better be careful around her today. She ain't playing. And I'm like, that's so true. What are my teachers at, at like school now, at beauty school, told me that I look like a totally different person with makeup, which yes, I agree, I do. I also go to school looking like frumpy as hell because a lot of times we'll do like facials in class, like that on ourselves or on each other. So I didn't go to school with like all my makeup down and my teacher's like, you look like I would talk to you when you look like this, like on a normal day. But if I saw you with all your makeup on, I would be scared to talk to you. And I was like still don't know how to respond to that I'm like, like i'm liking that like i want to go for like a bad bitch but like come talk to me still like just a little social butterfly i'm gonna use this Too faced chocolate soleil she's been loved she's been heavily loved i really want to buy this again but it is a luxury product and i'm unemployed so i actually didn't even buy this one for me myself this might got me i think for our first christmas together so cute but yeah he bought this for me like oh god that must have been three years ago but look at that's good i should stop being a little bitch and whoa that was aggressive i should stop complaining about it and just buy it again because obviously it lasted me this long and i absolutely love it it smells it smells so good it brings me joy every time i open it not me convincing myself to buy myself more makeup as if i don't every single week. Now, I'm just hitting my forehead, you know, like I said, we gotta bring some color back. And then my cheekies here. I don't know if this was the best brush for me to have used today. I am looking a little bit patchy. I also didn't wash my face this morning. I kind of just like splashed water on it. It's all right, you guys can't see, you're too far away. <laughs> I don't know why people are always contouring their chin. That's making your chin, your face look rounder. Unless you have like a really long pointed chin that you want to look shorter. I contour like the sides here. You see? Because it snatches it and it actually makes my chin look longer. Which, I don't know, I guess it's preference. There's no rules, girls. Just letting you know what you're doing and why it's wrong. No. <laughs> oh shit, my joints are looking patchy. Frickums. Fricka, fricka. There's actually like really no way to salvage patchy skin other than to start over, but I will not. I spent all of like two seconds trying to fix that and then I was like, no, I'm over it, it's fine. So I'm just gonna take my little flathead contour brush here. I've been using this brush so much lately, I really like it, it's so easy. I just dip the side of it into my pan, my contour pan, and like, can you see how easy that was? When I blend my nose contour i go like this not straight down because i want to bring it like in right i want the bottom to meet kind of at a point here do a little slant i'm just going to take some white concealer freaking frick me that was too much what do i do i guess we'll find out i'm going to pinch my sponge here and then i'll just put the excess on the sides i need to get a move on i have like my lighting is all kind of crazy right now so i can't really tell if this is even okay well it's just gonna have to stay the way it is this is my secret weapon for nose contour lately this is the la colors neon gel liner and all i do is go down right here and this will vary with your nose shape right but for me my nose kind of like is bigger here right so it like goes right so I just want to get this little bit here and then the tip and this is just even from the side this will look so
so good. Like it'll, it like really does. Like when I take photos from the side and stuff, do you see? I'm just kind of like dabbing it and then I'm gonna clean up the sides with just my finger. Ah, the lighting needs to, you can't see in this lighting, but girl, it's snatched. You can see when I do that though, how it looks like more like round at the top. That's what I want. You don't see, you don't see because the sliding, but it kind of looks busted. Oh, now you can see. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it looks so good. And we're even gonna make it, we're gonna make it even better in a bit. I'm gonna take this Revlon powder blush in tickled pink on this fluffy Sephora brush here. This brush is a little bit too big for what I've been doing recently, which is trying to like contour my face with blush. I'm just gonna go up at an angle here. And then I'm gonna hit my tip, my temple, my temple a little bit. And you see, I'm not going on the ball of the cheek here. You see like right here, I'm avoiding. And this is just gonna help make my face look a little more lifted. Should I do a little on my nose? Okay, I'll do a little on my nose. Twist my arm. I'm gonna take this, what is this? This is some elf brush that I've had for so long that the name is worn off, but I'm just gonna take it right on the tip here. I'm gonna go in with this. This Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's also part of the Matte and Poreless line. Whoa, do you see my light bugging? Oh my God, everybody panic. See my light bugging out like that? I. Oh, it, <laughs> I'm seizing. <laughs> my skin is like, I wouldn't say it's incredibly hydrated, so I don't want to go crazy with this. You really do kind of have to swipe because it's a pressed powder, and then you can kind of pat off. And then this. Mm, look at that. I'll get a little bit under the eye. Let me make sure I don't have any creases first. So let's just do a little bit down the side of the nose and under the eye here. And this will help kind of like airbrush this part of the cheek as well. Okay, let's see if I can show you now. Blocking the light on this side. Can you see the difference? How nice and airbrushed this side looks? And like these areas here, like there's no shine that's bringing light to them. I don't want these areas highlighted with like anything that's gonna be glossy or luminous because that'll kind of catch your eye. But I do wanna put some lighter powder on it to set it and just it'll look good like that all day but if your under eye is really dry this can be risky business but i find that a pressed powder is usually okay um just because you don't pick up as much product but yeah i definitely feel like a pressed powder is going to be safer than a loose powder if you have dry skin I think for highlighter, I'm going to use this. Oh, Mike got me this too for our first Christmas. I crushed it, but this is, it used to look nice. I tried to fix it, so it's like all mushed together now. But it's the Becca Gradient Glow. I don't usually touch this area here. I kind of just go right up here. But the rest would be really good for like a, a body highlight. I'm gonna do a little bit on this tiny brush into just that light color there. And I'll just go really lightly over where we already did that white. Yes? Say hi. Hi, dearest. Are you going to school today? I am going to school. What time is it? I, really? It's nearly 10. That's fine. I wanted to leave at 10. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a nudie lip or if I want to do like full 90s. I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to go for the 90s. The 90s look. So we're going to do a brown liner. Lipstick first, then I'll do lip liner. I'm going to use this Too Faced Sunday Fun Day. And that's what she looks like. A very pretty nude. It's actually super similar to my lip color, just better. Okay, so I'm going to take this NYX matte lip liner and this one's in Maison. I'm just going to blend this in. If you're a little bit scared about doing lip liner, it's like a dark brown or you kind of want to like ease yourself into it. 
it's a good idea to do the lipstick first and then the lip liner because it just kind of like blends nice and easy and it doesn't come out as intense i love this skin it photographs so well except for this little chunky area over here can you tell good makeup starts with good skin and i know that and i should have washed my face first okay okay i wonder if you guys can understand what i was saying with the liner so okay look at this now it's like got the lipstick on it right so that's kind of the color that it is but let me sharpen it and show you what it looks like actually without without the lip liner like mixed in look how much darker that is and that's what it looks like oops i just blew a chunk of lip liner on the ground it's gonna make such a mess but yeah can you see the difference like because i put the lipstick first the lip liner kind of mixed with it so it kind of looked like the lip liner was made for this lipstick but in reality it was just the two colors mixed and that's what she looks like on her own so good little trick all right you guys that's it i feel like this looks really similar to a makeup that i did like three years ago and the only reason i'm referring to that is because it is on my youtube but i don't know why i threw that on the ground that was gross so i'm gonna use that anyway you guys that's it i hope you like the look the easy eye actually the whole look was quite easy i love the skin this has been the skin that i've just been like going to over and over and over i use a variety of products for my skin but i'm still doing like the exact same process that i did today and i just love the way it looks so let me know what you think if you guys like the skin if you like the eye if you like me <laughs> you can like this video like press the like button subscribe to my channel and you could even set the little notification bell so you know that when i post stuff like this or you can just follow me on Instagram. Still subscribe, but you can also follow me on Instagram and you'll see when I post stuff like this. All right, you guys, I have to go to school, so I'm gonna stop like chit-chatting, blabbing on, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much if you made it to the end and I love you. Happy holidays. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, I was talking about flicking that lip liner across the room and I have freaking white pencil on my pants. <laughs> like top eyelash, eyeshadow, eyeliner. What the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> I wonder if I should put Madame at, but, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty.